Have you ever planted spinach in June, only to watch it immediately bolt to seed or struggle to get a fall crop of lettuce to form a head before it turns bitter? It seems like the garden may be paying a little bit closer attention to the clock than unfortunately you might be. But hey, no worries. It happens. What's going on here is a process known as photoperiodism. And when you understand this process, it could be the secret to timing your harvest perfectly. So in a nutshell, photoperiodism is a plant's ability to be able to measure uninterrupted darkness so it can initiate its key life cycle. And now those key life cycles that we're talking about are going to be, for instance, like flowering, fruiting, or even going to seed. See, the thing is that many of your plants are going to have an internal biological clock by the name of phytochrome. Think of phytochrome like a trigger and the alarm for said trigger. You got it. The sunlight. Sunrise converts the phytochrome into its active daytime form. When nightfall comes, the active form slows down, breaking down in the night, much like you do when you sleep. Then the trigger, dawn, when it comes around again, the plant senses how much daytime is left. And a long night signal can tell certain plants that it's time to flower. And a single flash can reset the entire clock. That's why it's more important to have that uninterrupted darkness than it is about the light. The light really is just a trigger. I know you're probably thinking at this point, yeah, that's cool and all, but how can I use that practically while gardening? Let me break it down to you like this. You're going to benefit from knowing which is which, your long day plants versus your short day plants or even your day neutrals. See, your long day plants are going to be plants that need less than 12 hours of darkness. And that's going to be plants like your spinach, lettuce, cilantro, potatoes. See, and this is the very reason why your spinach will bolt during the summer. It's not so much the heat. A lot of times we factor in the heat. It's those long days. Those long days are telling it to begin the next cycle of its life and go ahead and start to bolt and form seed. So while we tell you things like cilantro is a cooler weather crop, well, this is true because the temperatures do play a factor. But what really is important is the amount of that uninterrupted darkness. And next we have our short day plants. These are going to be plants that flower when the days are short and the nights are longer. This actually is going to be like most of your ornamentals when we're talking about here. But some crops fall in this category as well. For instance, we're talking about sweet potatoes and some soybeans. And then finally, we're going to have our day neutrals. Now, your day neutrals, they're going to be your easy ones. And these are going to be your crops that's going to flower based more on maturity rather than your night or day triggers. Examples being like your watermelons, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, beans, even some of your varieties of strawberries. So the next time your cilantro or your spinach starts to bolt on you, remember, it's just following its internal clock. Thus, your timing can play a huge factor. Let me ask you this, though. What's one of the annual crops you grow in your garden that you have the most challenge out of? Are they long day or are they short day?